Toru had developed the same disease which killed her siblings tuberculosis from my lips broke a cry such as anguish may bring sing said god in reply chant poor little thing her father now knew that he was about to lose even toru it must have been a terrible mental state uh, for a father to know that this child uh, is a genius and also to know that the genius is not going to live long you can never say anything about a father who has already lost two children and who is about to lose the last one and the most talented one toru could sense the weakening of her body yet she continued her work on a french novel her father and her french friend clarice bader managed to publish the novel in 1878 in paris in her last letter to mary martin just a month before her death she says my dear dear mary i'm so sorry to have given you so much anxiety indeed i would not write dear the fever and coughing still continues thank you very much dear for all your kind letters but most of all for your friendship toru dat the mother of indo french and indo anglian writing left this world merely at the age of 21 what i have sensed in her letters that she was never scared of death no she believed that there is a life a life after death which becomes glorious if you are close to god if you are close to yourself and if you do your best then there is no death in the face of that kind of destiny uh, she created uh, great literature and she uh, really Uh, went on living in a heroic manner now the most important question is has she received the homage that she actually deserved she is definitely an unsung hero not only unsung but ignored we have uh, given awards and we have considered Uh, written critical appraisal of much lesser genius uh, in our history of literature perhaps maybe things may change yeah i wish hope and pray that she will not remain an unsung hero of india anymore the first indian to translate the works of 65 great poets from french to english the first indian to have written a novel in english the first and the only indian woman who has written a french novel the first indian to translate the most difficult verses of indian mythology from sanskrit to english and yet forgotten lost in the darkness of time